for you a consent message. I'm gonna try. All right. Hello everybody and welcome to this week's IPFS documentation and developer user experience weekly meeting. Um, I am your unofficial host for the week. Um, standing in for Johnny who has just joined us. Uh, you can find out more about anything that we are doing in the docs working group at, IP, uh, at github.com slash ipfs.docs, including notes on how to read the meeting notes for this call and how to find future calls. Um, today we are welcoming Eric Skase to discuss what you're working on. Um, so Johnny, just to catch you up, um, Eric's working on his gateways doc ETA for the first draft sometime this week. Um, I had suggested just because we have the, it's, it's a little hard with how we have the repo set up just to push it as a net new um, PR with a prefix of like WIP um, so that we can review what he's got later on this week. Cause he can't, he can't push against the existing document as it is, which is just sort of a failure. I can't make a branch on your repo. That has my work in progress in it. That's fine, yeah. That makes more sense than just to do the PR. And then we can discuss the PR. Um, probably want to have some folks review it. Um, we're a little bit closer to the gateways, um, just for details. Mm -hmm. um, and it's, also and might... it's issue 93 was. Oh, yes. Okay. Can, you, can you throw that link in the document? Yep. Um, one other thing that we might want to add later, um, there was some talk in a sync meeting last week just about um, gateways and scale and using the public gateway and discouraging folks from using the public gateway past a certain point of scale because like, you know, make your own gateway, right? Um, so that might be something that we want to end up um, that we might want to end up adding some content on, but let's defer that until Eric, we see your first batch okay. of content, if that sounds good. Um, yeah, and if there's other stuff that um, you come across, feel free to shove me a pointer and I'll figure out how best to fold it in. Any other questions you have that on that? Good for now. Um, let's see, just trying to find issue 93. I'm just trying to put the link in. I put it up in the first line. On, on yeah, I know, but you, didn't, yeah. you didn't actually link to it. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, that's what I was this. All right. Um, Johnny, are you in the notes as well? I'll uh, link them to you just in case you're Yeah, not. could you put them in the chat? I'm on a new laptop today, so that's why I've been oh. a bit haywire. Like Zoom wasn't installed, Slack wasn't installed, and one of those. Yeah, it takes like two days to spin up, <laughs> like just to get your environment back. I, I knew a dude who who had, and I, I don't know the details of how he set this up, but he'd, he'd hosted somewhere all of the artifacts that he need and like a disk image that he could just basically install his dev environment from scratch on any laptop, which he was using. Um, Cause he kept going, he was looking for a job and he was going into all of these like technical interviews where they'd give him a laptop he'd never seen before and ask him to code something. And like, he would just get so flummoxed by not being in an environment that he was used to. Mm -hmm. so, so he rolled this thing and that ended up like getting him a job <laughs> like before the coding exercise even did. So that's cool. Yeah. yeah. I mean, and one of my a, dreams one day is to have my like Bash RC on some server so I can just W get it down and everything I'm on. But yeah. I'm, I'm running Windows at the moment. It's it's an absolute mess. Like, oh. why are you in, dude? Why are you in Windows? Oh, because my other laptop. I'll, I'll tell you later. It's it's okay. a whole. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Um, do you? I knew a guy to... who did something very similar to that, um, and all this stuff for his environment. He kept in, um, an encrypted um, flash drive because he traveled to China all the time. And every time he went to China, he started with a virgin machine yeah. and waited until he got into the border, put up the environment that he needed, wiped the machine before he left. Yep, no, that's, that's a very real thing. Um, I am 
like just running through the agenda here. So we've also got a few outstanding PRs. I know, Johnny, these are probably on your radar, but we should get back to their respective contributors kind of ASAP on these. Um, yeah, so um, let me just pull up the... the I'm linking to the three PRs right now. I'm putting them in the agenda. Okay, cool. So the there's an update from the BitSwap PR. Um, Ed, the the chap who's doing that is currently away. Um, yeah, yeah. He said he would look at stuff, but he might not do a whole bunch. Yeah, exactly. Um, but just as long as that gets done, um, probably like in the next couple of weeks, it should be fine. There's a few more things I wanted to add into that PR um, that I'm going to speak to him about. I'll probably just make comments within the PR itself, so it's a bit more visible. Yeah. Um, but as far as the BitSwap one is going, that looks good to me. Um. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, so there's two there's two outstanding PRs from Ed Goulet about um, one's on BitSwap. The other is on LibP2P. Yeah. Um, and then also Leon's got, there's some outstanding stuff on Leon's IPLD. Uh, yeah, that should be ready to merge in. I had a chat uh, with... Uh, Peter or Peter, I forgot how he pronounces his name. Yep. Um, last week, just regarding the IPLD stuff, he was like, uh -huh. uh, I guess the the IPLD expert, um, and he just had some changes. So I've spoken to Leon, um, just sent him a quick email about those changes going again. Um, but they should be good to go, I believe. Um, just because the issue with it wasn't that Leon's changes, like the work that he'd done, was bad or anything. It's yep. just that there was a lot of stuff that he's he's gathered from other documentation from other places that yep. isn't strictly true because IPLD like is still very much in like the early stages. So things like um, it was mentioned in loads of different videos and stuff like that, the linking between like the hash of a Bitcoin transaction and then the hash of like a, a, a Git commit or something like that could be possible through IPLD. Yes, that is possible, but like right now it's not um, just because the infrastructure isn't there in IPLD. So we discussed the idea of having it instead of like an example, this is what you can do with IPLD. It's going to be more of like, this is what you will be able to do with IPLD and um, that sort of thing, if that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. So the aim is to get that merged sometime this week, do you think? Uh, yeah. Next couple of days, uh, I would imagine. Um, right. Yeah. Um, looks like, um, and then, Sorry, I'm just keeping kind of in the notes here. I wasn't really prepared to lead this meeting. Um, things that are new since last week. Um, your homepage refactoring, you want to talk through that a little bit? Yeah, quickly. Um, so, so this was a, I guess this was an issue that got raised back in December and I finally got around to actually doing something about it. Um, just made the homepage more friendly and just make it like a lot more call to actions and getting users and readers to be able to jump into stuff as soon as they hit the homepage. Um, obviously you've gone through, so you've, you've reviewed that PR, which is great. Thanks a lot for your, your help there and your copy editing and things and your design chops. Me changing the, the font weight from 100 to 200. I think that was going to change it. I didn't look at that in a, um, I was just in like a hem's on your face. I don't know what 200 looks like in your, in, in your dev environment. Does it look okay? Yeah, I, I mean, I, I don't really have any uh, design bones in my body, but it looks it looks fine to me. Um, but again, we can we can change it down the road. It's not a huge. Okay. Yeah. Right. I mean, once once you've got that in somewhere that's got a a preview when, when we've got the um, Circle CI preview, let me know. I'll take a look in a couple of different browsers. Yeah. Um, cool. Sounds like there's still like like two bits of conversation that we need things that we need to discuss in there. Um, maybe you should table that towards closer to the end of this conversation. Um, yeah, sure, yeah. Okay. Um, um, how, um, contributor recruitment, are there any updates on that? Since no major updates. Um, right now it's pretty much just me pinging people being like, hey, we've got this work coming up. Um, are you available? Um, and just essentially going through that sheet that you gave me. Some people are just like not really responding. Um, other people are like, I'm not available right now. Like I've got the gigs, stuff like that going on. Um, but I've sent out about like emails to about 10 different people now. Um, there's a couple of writers in Toronto that I met this weekend on just actually, 
Um, so they're really enthusiastic about jumping on board once they've finished their current project. Mm-hmm. Um, they both work at the same place and that's going to be ending sort of midway through March. Okay. Um, so that'd be great to get them on board. Okay. Um, and yeah, pretty much that's how that's going. Okay. Um, do, do, do. I'm looking at the Zen Hub board. It looks like there aren't any new um, aren't any new issues that have been raised from the community. Um, automate spelling and grammar checking. I'm going to throw that in the ice box since. Yeah, that's probably fine. That's going to get tackled. Yeah, that's going to be. So we talked about doing automation and things like that in probably Q2 of this year. Uh, so that that would that whole task would involve API automation and things like that. Um, Sure. which then involves the JS IPS team and the, the Go IPS team. But yeah, I kind of envision that all being bundled into one quarter. But yeah, so throw that in the ice box. Okay. And then contributor guidelines and reference materials. Um, these are done except for the co-persona, right? Uh, yeah, and the reason the co-persona is not done is because I'm still reaching out to various people so on the Go IPFS team, JS IPFS team, to get their ideas of what they think a large project should be like what what it should be based around like kind of features they want to kind of show off with ipfs and various different things like that um so that's like a, a, a bit of an internal discussion right now um i was actually considering using the new discussion beta that um github released recently um it's where you can just have like stack overflow like discussions yep. to kind of bring that up because it's not necessarily an issue on its own this is just i kind of want to flow ideas around and find out what the best code example project would be. Um, so yeah. probably that, good idea to test out that. For that discussion you're saying? Yeah, exactly. Because yeah, like a couple of weeks ago, um, I was thinking maybe I open a post on our forum and do it through there. But mm-hmm. since it's already now built into like GitHub, we might as well just keep everything self-contained in that. And also it's a good idea to like test out this beta to sure. see how useful it is. Um, what else is new? Anything? Uh, I don't think so. I've got a new computer and it's on Windows and it's really awful to work with, but yeah. Um, <laughs> Why Windows? Um, so I was getting aggravatedly annoyed with my MacBook. So I got the MacBook Air um, yeah. 2019 model and it was just, it, it did the job, but when it came to do anything remotely difficult, so like Spinning, I like having two sort of web servers running on your laptop at once or trying to spin up a VM. Um, just, it just couldn't hack it. Like it, it runs like an i5 dual core. So it was just, it's really not powerful enough. So I got this new laptop, which is really good. But mm-hmm. I've not, like I got it yesterday and I'm not time to, to put Linux on it or anything like that yet. So that'll be, that'll be a task for this evening, I think. <laughs> All right. I mean, take the time you need, if, if that's something you need to do today to get up running get up and running and get on speed, you know, by all means, just get yourself settled in. That's not something you have to do outside of working time. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. <laughs> um, do, and Eric, you're free to leave at any point unless you had any other questions. I appreciate you hanging out on this call. No, those, I'm always happy to get insight as to what else is happening in the environment. So I might, am I hanging around? <laughs> I yeah, yeah, I might share my screen real quick, Johnny, if you just want to like talk through the rest of the homepage chapter notes. Yeah, yeah, sure, no worries. Screen. Um, do, do, do. All right. All right. Can you see me? I can see you. All right. It looks like it looks like there were only like two things that didn't get resolved, and. That, I wish you could do this as like not as individual commits because I like I got I like I got up I got out of the shower and I was like why do I have thirty seven emails? Sorry, okay, yeah, that was bad because I was just like I saw that I was like yeah that looks good we'll merge that in yeah that's good we'll merge that in. Um, I know and it does it as a separate commit which is such a pain in the butt um, which you know is fine it was a sort of funny um, so it sounds like the only two things that are outstanding were um, actually and then this one. Uh, oh. So that should be motion. I just yeah. So the market is resolved, but did- it marks as resolved. But then I can't I can't now push that commit in. Like this is a weird GitHub feature that just I don't really know what's going on there. It's really weird. Um, but there was the 
I mean, the big one that kind of stood out, like, oh, you're is like really good, apart from the the use of the word centralized. Yeah. Um, it's just yeah. because, I mean, to me, it has like blockchain and crypto connotations, and yeah. it's not really a word that regular people would yeah. really use. Um, it's, it's like when I, I first started in like, I don't know, the blockchain world, it was like, what do you mean centralized? I've never heard of this before. Right. What about like, let's see, because we're also saying break free from centralization. And I think that's. Yeah. Um, I mean, I, uh, I, think, I think that's what got you here. No, this is not. This is different. Where's the other? Well, I mean, I don't really mind using. So the word centralization, I guess, is not too terrible as long as we very strictly define what we mean by it. Um, so like the idea of having like a central server that controls everything or a central company that controls everything. Yeah. Um, but I feel like there's a there's an easier way to say that. I just, uh, I'm not sure. Um. I mean, since I don't really have any other ideas, we can we can merge this in for now, and then maybe over the next week or so, I'll get a, like a spark of inspiration and be like, "Oh, we call it something else." So, are you just thinking? Are you just thinking, break free from centralization? Is that what is that the phrase that you're not down with? Yeah, essentially, like everything up to that point. So, uh, part of the movement to create the next generation of the internet, perfectly fine. That's great, but it's yeah. just a break free from centralization. Um, also, it reminds me of that Freddie Mercury song. <laughs> great um, um i mean why don't we just say i mean why don't why don't we just say the next generation of the internet i mean i'd be totally happy getting rid of the centralization language entirely i think that's from like a first second paragraph perspective i think that's what we all need to know yeah cool i mean talking about centralization is definitely something we need to address within somewhere within the docs it's like a it's a, it's a major part of what ipfs is fixing yeah. Um, but yeah, maybe it just doesn't need to be like right at the top there. Um, cause it's just a, to me, it's another, it's another buzzword that the crypto community really loves to jump on top of. And yeah. No, no. There's already too many, too many buzzwords in blockchain. All right. Should I just merge that in? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that'd be brilliant. All right. If I can. Ha. It's going to make a whole other merge. Oh, no, it didn't. All right. Is that, did I resolve that? Uh, I th if you go to the bottom, is that like another thing? Oh, there you go. So change is approved. So I guess it's all going through now. Yeah, I think that is everything. That is everything. Cool. Except for this. Oh, host a static website on IPFS. Can I just say host your website on IPFS because we yeah, say static yeah. in the part under the... Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, that's fine. I, why did I not see that one? See, it hides yes, some of them. I don't like know what... 43 individual commit comments because that's how code reviews work in GitHub and then you end up with like 50 little windows. Yeah. <laughs> this was like, what are the, we had a chat with some people at Lab Week and just people were so upset about just like code reviews in GitHub and how GitLab does it so much better, but um, I'm not gonna get into that political. Yeah, no, it's all good. All right, <laughs> so I'm just gonna see, um, I'm gonna watch CircleCI build this thing and let's see how the font weight looks, but I think that should be fine. Um, talk to Chris because he will bust your chops for inline styles. <laughs> and yeah, right so, yeah, so <laughs> I tagged him in a couple of things, uh, but I guess he's he's got his head into the other project. He's super busy right now. I think it'll work for now, um, but I think there may just be I, I think if we're gonna if we're gonna throw like a subhead style anywhere else, like like if we like that style, let's like actually turn it into like an actual an like actual an thing, actual yeah. CSS, like something in the CSS. Yeah, I completely agree. Because yeah, it is something I kind of want to throw onto like the I guess the top level index page of each section. Just be like, hey, this is what this section's about. You can see it at the top. It's in bold or yeah, not bold or whatever. Yeah. Um, cool. But yeah, like yeah, inline styles. There's a the the seventh circle of hell is reserved for people who use inline styles. <laughs> <laughs> No, the seventh circle of other people who, who just display none stuff because they don't want to deal with that. <laughs> Use important this. flags at the end of all the code. Yeah, really. Yeah. Um, yeah, I've done that before. Yeah. Um, all right. Um, eventually, this will run its test. I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording of this meeting since now we're just watching some, some bread get baked. Um, cool.
And thank you everybody who has joined us. Um, I'm going to try to stop recording. I'm going to try to stop recording. What the what? Come on. Maybe I'm not recording anymore. I can still see the little recording thing. In the <laughs> oh, oh, wait, the hey, look, pass. wait, test pass. <laughs> let's, let's try this now since we're all, since we're all here. What does it look like? Oh uh, yeah, sometimes the uh... maybe screen sharing is preventing you from. Hang on, though. Wait, we've not. Yeah, got... it's not showing the IPFS build. There, oh, there we you go. go. There oh, you all go. right, all right. It'll okay. it'll take a little bit more time for the bread to bake. Um, I'm going to stop sharing. Where is my screen controller? This is sad. You're watching me in a video flail over how to use Zoom. Okay, I'll chop this bit out. There we go. All right, I'm going to stop the video. Thank you all for joining. Um, we shall see you next week, same bat time, same bat channel under Johnny's direction. Um, and we'll go from there. All right, thank you very much. All right, video is stopped. Cool. Um, is it still? I can still see your screen. Yeah, indeed. And it still says recording at the top left. Maybe Why? this is a way.